Yeah. Guys, this is what I'm gonna do. Pan Express. Teresa Kuang. Her and her family requested this quite a long time ago. This is what I got, guys. Beef and broccoli, chow mein, their orange chicken, and their chicken. I don't know what this is. Their chicken special or something. All right, let's do it, guys. It's hot in the car. I dropped down some windows, and it's getting very nice out here. Beef and broccoli, guys. Go ahead, guys. You guys go on. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> That's good. Here, it's their chow mein. From the start, guys, I don't like it right now just because the noodles are cut up. Take the first bite of this. Okay, yeah, it's got it. Nice. Yeah. It's good noodles, but I like long strips of noodles. Let's try there. Orange chicken. Does it match up to my orange chicken? Take the first bite of this. He has got it. Quick time. Nice. Mmm. It's good. Does it match up to mine? Let's say this. Nothing beats freshness. When I say freshness, I mean right on the spot cook and serve type meal. Hmm. Guys, this is their special chicken. The first bite of this. Yes, got it. Yes. Hmm. Not bad. Kind of just tastes like the orange chicken, but with a little spice on it. I don't like my noodles chopped up, guys. <laughs> That's one thing. But, so good. Orange chicken. That's very good. Hmm. The big controversy is this real Chinese food? Chinese people will say no, it's not. It's more westernized Chinese food. But it's still good. It's still good. Hmm. Hmm. Almost summer here. Or spring. Hmm. If Panda Express is watching this. Stop chopping up your noodles. You gotta leave it long. Hmm. I'm gonna compare it to Chinese family restaurants that sells the same stuff. Out of 10 being the best, I'm gonna give it a 6.5. The noodles. The noodles has to be long, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. No hate on Panda Express. Would I eat there again? Yeah, I probably would. Would it be something I would crave each week? No, I don't think I would crave Panda Express. I think if I did crave any Chinese Western food, I would go to a Chinese family owned restaurant. The service there guys was great. Nothing to complain about. Guys, what do you guys want me to try next? Put it down below there. I'll do this once a week guys. I'm not satisfied. Easy stir fry. Let's get into this. Rest of our ground beef from the burger night here. Season it a bit with some salt. Add some sliced onions, some garlic. 
all my leftovers, guys. Got one zucchini, one carrot, bok choy stem, our two package of our chow mein noodles, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, half tablespoon of sugar, one cup of bean sprout, and our bok choy leaves. Awesome, guys. The mix. Serve this on your favorite plate. Your chow mein. Done. Great. Chow mein done right by, I'll say this, not cutting your noodles. Take the first bite of this, guys. Here. Quick time, guys. You guys got it. Quick time. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> You gotta have long noodles. It's a must. I think the Chinese call it longevity. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking, recalculating. Six one five against all those Chinese restaurants here or family-owned restaurants here. <laughs> Great way to use up all of your leftover veggies in the stir fry here. <laughs> wow. And that leftover beef. Maybe only in my city they cut the noodles, but how about you guys? Are the noodles chopped at Panda Express in your city? There shouldn't be. There's rules to making noodles. There's a reason why the noodles are long. I should be kept long. Hmm. I'm calling you out, Panama Express. Why are you chopping noodles? <laughs> hmm. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, 
Don't forget to pick up one of your nice shirts or take the first bite one. Like, share this. Peace out.